What if Goku, Vegeta, and Broly were sent to planet Earth? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 8? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku, Vegeta, and Broly were sent to planet Earth, we mentioned that Goku's new Super Saiyan God power was too much for Perfect Cell to handle. As he went and he used 100% of his power, and both him and Goku were going at it. Goku was overpowering him as he managed to go and beat the shit out of Cell before Goku can make the next move. His Super Saiyan God power ran out of him, and from there he was just him fighting Cell. Broly and Vegeta came to aid Goku as all three of them went and they started to overpower Cell and they went and beat the shit out of him. Cell got desperate as he went and he powered up an enormous Kamehameha wave trying to destroy planet Earth. But from there Goku, Vegeta and Broly all went and powered up their attack and they combined it as it went and overpowered Cell's attack and he died right there. From there 7 years has passed since they brought peace to planet Earth. One day, they all decided to go to enter the World Martial Arts Tournament but from there, Supreme Kai told him that there is someone called Majin Buu who is very evil and he will destroy everything. Once when they got to Majin Buu, Majin Buu went and he started to attack everyone as Vegeta went and transformed to his Super Saiyan God and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of Majin Buu. Majin Buu then went and absorbed Vegeta as he has now become Super Buu and now he had enormous power up. Will Goku and Broly find a way to end him? Find out inside this part. What if Goku, Vegeta, and Broly were sent to planet Earth, part 8? <laughs> Do you think I'll be scared of your guys' power? You guys got me all wrong. I am the definition of power. Stop talking and start showing me. You want to see our power? Then bring it on. We'll show you what it means to have power. Before Buu could say another word. Goku went and he kicked him in his face as he flew meters away and from there Broly went and chased after him as he picked him up and he started to attack him non-stop. Boo was getting his ass handed towards him by Broly as he continued to go and beat the shit out of him. Broly then went and powered up an attack and threw it towards Boo as he went and he got exploded into a million of pieces but from there Maj Boo went and he regenerated himself as he become whole again and from there some of his body parts were left behind as he did that by purpose so he can go and absorb Broly. Before he can do that, Goku went and threw a blast towards Boo as he failed to do so and from there Goku went and he powered up an instant transmission Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Boo as it hit him head on and he died once and for all. Once when Majin Buu died, Goku and Broly were upset about Vegeta dying with him but from there Goku went and he instant transmission towards Boma's place as they went and they used the Dragon Balls and they went and wished Vegeta back to life. Vegeta came back as he was disappointed in what happened and that he let himself be absorbed by Majin Buu. He then looked towards Goku and said, Kakarot, I saw what you did when I was inside Majin Buu. Tell me, how did you get that blue color transformation? <laughs> Honestly, Vegeta, I don't know. I guess you can say it's pretty much you're going Super Saiyan inside your Super Saiyan God form, if that makes any sense. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get that power too. <laughs> Alright then, let's train. While the Earth was celebrating for their victory, far in the galaxy, a destroyer has now woken from his slumber. And from there, he went and called out his attendant. Whis? Yes, my lord. I'm glad to see you're awake. Now, how was your sleep? Hmm, pleasant, but there's one thing. I saw in my dream that I was fighting with a Super Saiyan God. Do you know anything about that? Hmm, well, the matter is, my lord, I do know a thing or two about Super Saiyan God. You see, there's a Saiyan living on planet Earth. To be more specific, my lord, I'll say there's actually a group of Saiyans living on planet Earth. But three of them are at the level of Super Saiyan God. What? 
How can that be, Whis? I thought Frieza destroyed that planet. He did, but these Saiyans went and killed him after, more specifically, the Saiyan named Goku. He was the one that killed Frieza. And if there's anyone that can challenge you, my lord, I'll say that's him who can even beat you. Also, another Saiyan named Broly. He is a legendary Super Saiyan. Okay, Whis, you said enough. I want to go to Earth and see this Super Saiyan God and fight them. Let's see what these Saiyans can do. Eight months has passed before Beerus has awoken from his slumber. Beerus was making his way towards planet Earth, but while he was doing that, back on Earth, everyone was having a good time but now it was Boma's birthday party. As everyone got ready and they made their way towards Boma's party, Goku, Vegeta and Broly were sparring with one another. But from there, they saw that it was time to go to Boma's birthday party and that they better make their way towards Boma's place before she gets angry with them. Goku went and he instant transmissioned them towards Boma's place as they all got there and now everyone was celebrating her birthday. While everyone was enjoying their time, Gohan and Trunks has now arrived back to Earth as they left with Supreme Kai to his world and they went and trained for 8 months straight. Gohan and Trunks managed to go and train with the Z-Sword as Gohan managed to break it and from there he got his potential unlocked. Goku, Vegeta and Broly were all sitting down enjoying their time while the everyone else was happy and from there all three Goku, Broly and Vegeta picked up a huge power level making his way towards planet Earth as Goku looked up and said, Hmm? Yeah, Kakarot, I sense that too. But what is that? Whatever it is, we need to be on our guard. I don't like the sound of this. Y Gohan, look what's happening to our father. What do you think's happening there? I don't know, but something trouble's going to happen, Trunks. Be alert. He's right, guys. Be alert. And from there, Beerus has now arrived to planet Earth as he landed right next to them and he said, well, well, if it isn't Prince Vegeta residing on planet Earth, how interesting. Vegeta saw Beerus as he started to remember who he was and from there he said, B Beerus? What are you doing here? I see you recognize me, Vegeta. Oh yeah, how could I not forget him? Beerus the Destroyer. The Destroyer? What? I'm confused. And you. I came here to see you. I heard you kill Frieza and that you could even transform to a power called Super Saiyan God. <laughs> yeah, I can. You wanna spar with me? Kakarot, don't be an idiot! <laughs> Lord Beerus, please, come with me, enjoy some food. You really like some Earth food. <laughs> I cannot say no to food. Okay. Beerus got distracted by Vegeta as Vegeta didn't want anyone fighting Beerus since he knew what Beerus is capable of. They all went and gave Beerus food as he was enjoying while Goku and Broly were watching him. Goku on the other hand was very curious to see just how powerful Beerus was as he finished eating his food and from there Goku came to him and he asked Beerus if he can spar with him. Since he was curious on Beerus' power, Beerus was also very curious on Goku as he said yes and from there Vegeta got mad that Goku was trying to push Beerus to fight him but from there Beerus told Vegeta to stand down as he wanted to accept Goku's offer and he said, I want you to go all out Saiyan, don't hold anything back. Okay Beerus, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan God. Beerus was impressed with seeing Goku's Super Saiyan God power and now they stared at one another. Before you know it, the battle has begun. Goku went and he rushed at Beerus as Beerus went and caught Goku's fist and he threw a punch at him and from there Goku went and kicked him in his stomach and they were going at it. While they were fighting, Vegeta noticed that Whis wasn't even phased by their battle as he began to notice that Whis isn't any mortal or god and that he's completely something else. Goku and Beerus kept it up for some time until Beerus looked at him and said, I'm impressed Saiyan, you really are something, but I gotta ask, is that all you got? Because if that's all you got, you're a disappointment to me. From there, Beerus went and powered up as he came right next to Goku and he striked him in his guts. Goku was in pain and before he can react, Beerus went and punched him in his face. 
Goku then went and brushed Beerus off and said, Hmm, I could say the same thing, Beerus. You're good yourself, but I got another form. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue, as Beerus looked at him and said, Now we're talking Saiyan, let's do this! Goku and Beerus stared at one another, waiting for any signal to come and before you know it, their battle has begun. Goku rushed at Beerus as he went and striked him in his face, causing him to fly meters away. While he was trying to recover, Goku then went and striked him down as he crashed towards the rocks. Beerus got up as he was in pain and he said, Very good Saiyan, but you're still far away from me using my full power. Beerus then went and used 80% of his power as he managed to go and retaliate and he went and started to attack Goku from every angle. Goku was confused as he saw Beerus was so fast and from there he came right in front of Goku and striked him right in the back and he went and picked him up and started to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku had no idea what he was seeing as he saw that Beerus was too strong and fast for him and from there Beerus went and striked him hard as Goku fell to the ground and when he tried to get up he then saw that Beerus went and threw a blast towards him. Goku managed to block the attack as it got dispersed and from there Beerus came right in front of him and punched him in his face and said, It's sad really. Here I thought that you'll be able to beat me, but you came short Saiyan, now it's time to say goodbye, you and your planet will be erased. No, don't do this, this battle isn't far from over yet Beerus. Vegeta and Brawly heard that, as they went and they transformed into their full power, but before they can do anything, Gohan and Trunks went and powered up, as they rushed towards Beerus and both of them worked as a team and they started to attack him. But Beerus saw them coming as he went and dodged them very easily and from there he went and headbutted Gohan as he fell to the ground and he went and pulled Trunks by his hair and begun to slap him in his face non-stop. He then went and used his tail on Trunks as he hit him right in his face and Trunks fell to the ground. From there Vegeta and Broly has managed to come right next to Beerus as Vegeta went and kicked him. Beerus then went and caught Vegeta's leg as he twisted it and he went and decked him right in the face. Vegeta fell straight to the ground. Brawly went and began to attack him as Beerus was trying to hold him off and from there Brawly then went and powered up an eraser cannon and threw it towards Beerus. But Beerus went and powered up his own attack and he threw it towards Brawly's attack and both of their attack got dispersed. From there Beerus decided to go and use 100% of his power and said, This Saiyan is really impressive but you still don't stand a chance against me. Beerus then came right towards Brawly as he went and striked him in his guts and threw him to the ground. Goku and Vegeta stood up as both of them went and they rushed towards Beerus and they began to attack him. But before they can do anything, Broly got angry and said, You'll pay for that Beerus! And yeah, and what can you do? Beerus then went towards Vegeta as he striked him right in the face while Goku went and powered up an attack and before he can throw it towards Beerus, Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now finally transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan for the very first time. Beerus and Whis saw that power as they were very impressed and from there Whis said, Amazing! With this strength this Saiyan has, I could see he is almost Lord Beerus' strength. They're equally tight. This battle is going to be very interesting. It's over Beerus! I'll kill you where you stand! Very good Saiyan, but I'll race you before you can! Beerus and Broly went and they rushed at each other as they began to go at it, with both of them landing blow to blow with one another. Beerus tried to overpower Broly, but Broly was getting stronger with each hit as he managed to keep up with Beerus and from there he went and started to attack Beerus as Beerus saw that he was losing towards Broly. Broly then went and began to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus got desperate to win this battle so he went and powered up in Hakai Wave to throw it towards Broly since Broly's legendary Super Saiyan power was overwhelming him. 
once when he threw his Hakai wave towards Broly. Broly was trying to disperse the attack but before he can, Beerus went and decked him in his back as it caused Broly to lose balance and he fell to the ground. Beerus then went and powered up another Hakai blast but before he can throw it towards Broly, he got kicked in the face by Goku. <laughs> you must be really stupid Beerus if you think I'll let you erase my brother. Now let me show you this technique. Goku has gone and mixed his Kaioken with his Super Saiyan Blue. As Broly got up and he came right next to where's Goku and both of them went and they powered up, leaving Beerus alone and he begun to get nervous sensing just how powerful Goku's Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken power with Broly's legendary Super Saiyan power was. Will Beerus stand a chance to beat one of them and win this battle or will Goku and Broly go and summon the power and kill Beerus once and for all? All of this will be answered in the next episode of What If Goku, Vegeta and Broly were sent to planet Earth. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you could become one of the Z fans.